Fox 46 meteorologist Elisa Rafa continues our team coverage now live in the Freedom Park neighborhood. So, Elisa, this is an area where we have seen many trees come down with weather like this before. Uh, could be a real problem heading into tomorrow with these high winds we're expecting. Yeah, I think that's a threat not only in this neighborhood, but in many neighborhoods around Charlotte. And like you said, it's a very beautiful residential area, lots of trees. And that's where you've got that threat because as Tara was saying, we could have a breezy day overall and then you get those lines of storms to develop. And that's where you get a push of damaging winds with those lines. So we want to show you some video from last year of what happened in this neighborhood in particular, where you had those damaging straight line winds take down some trees. Some homes were deemed unlivable with holes just poking through the roofs of bedrooms and bathrooms and things like that. Now, straight line winds can do damage like this, not just a tornado. And sometimes that straight line wind damage can be more widespread because a tornado can hit just one house and maybe not you or your neighbors, uh, but it's a narrow, narrower path of winds. The winds of uh, damaging winds could be a little bit more wider. So let's look at some graphics now, show you where this threat is. Again, we've got a two punch of today and tomorrow. We're in that second punch tomorrow of this severe weather outbreak uh, pretty much across the country. As Tara was saying, it's a level four out of five, four meaning that these storms could be widespread, they could be long lived and they could be pretty intense. So this is a high end severe threat for us here in the Carolinas. Uh, as Tara was saying, you've got that moderate risk of severe weather. A tornado can't be ruled out. Those damaging winds could again uh, create some problems with some trees and power lines and you could also find some large hail as well. So things that you need to know, make sure you have a way to get warnings down Download that Fox 46 weather app. Uh, make sure you stay tuned to us. And um, back here live, if you don't have it on your phone yet, I want you right now to go to your settings and then go to notifications and then scroll all the way past all of your apps, right? So I'm on an iPhone. Again, settings, notifications, scroll all the way down. It says government alerts at the bottom. Amber alerts, emergency alerts, public safety alerts. Make sure those are all on before tomorrow so you can get those tornado warnings right to your phone. Reporting live in Charlotte, meteorologist Elisa Rafa, Fox 46.